What's going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna show you how to install and set up PS4 Remote Play so that you can play all your PS4 games streaming from your PS4 onto your Nvidia Shield TV. First thing you wanna do is go into settings on your Nvidia Shield TV. Go down to the bottom to security and restrictions. Turn unknown sources on. Once that is on, hit your home button and then make sure that you have installed ES File Explorer. You can find it in the Google Play Store right here on your Nvidia Shield TV. So make sure you install that. Once you have that installed, what you wanna do is go on your computer and download either to a USB flash drive or a micro SD card, the PS4 Remote Play APK. Let's do the instructions for that now. And what you want to do now is go to the XDA website. So I'll link this in the description down below to make it a little bit easier. But ultimately, when you get to this page, you're going to see downloads right here. So what you want to do is you want the version that says invisible touch buttons. Now, this one doesn't work. When you click on it, it's going to say the file's not there. It might work by the time you do this. But ultimately, when I'm trying it right now, it's saying that the file is not there. So go back and click on the second one under the zippy share. Click on download now and you want to save this to either a micro SD card or a USB flash drive because you're going to plug that into the back of your Nvidia shield. So hit save. Now that it's done downloading, what you want to do is pull that USB flash drive or micro SD card out and put it into the back of your Nvidia shield. All right, now that we have that downloaded and we have the micro SD card or USB flash drive plugged into the back of our Nvidia Shield TV, what we want to do is open up ES File Explorer. And on the left hand side here, we are looking for that drive. So what we're going to do is go to local on the left hand side here. And mine's right here. Mine's going to be called the USB. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click open. It's asking me if I want to allow it. I'm going to hit OK. And there is my file right there, the remote play. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to click install. Install again. And then click done. Hit the home button on your Nvidia Shield TV. And when you go back to your apps, you probably won't see the PS4 remote app. So you need to download this app right here, Sideload Launcher. You can get it in the Google Play Store. So just search Sideload Launcher, install that app. Once it's installed, open Sideload Launcher and you'll see the PS4 app right here. Just click on it. And it's asking you if you want to use a DualShock 4 wireless controller. If you have one, register it first on this device. Or it says if you've registered a controller, press the PS button on the controller. Or you can just skip it altogether. Now what we want to do is go on to our PS4. Now that we're on our PS4, what you want to do is go to the top and go over to settings. And what you want to do is go into remote play, connection settings, and you want to enable remote play, click on add device, and then make sure you notate that number because now we need to go back to the Nvidia Shield TV and enter that number. Nvidia Shield TV, click next, and then click skip at the bottom right and enter that code. And then click done. And then in the bottom right, hit register. And then it says operate the analog sticks by touching the bottom of the screen. So click next. To use a control panel, tap the tab. And here you go. I am controlling my PS4 with my Nvidia Shield controller. Clicking back. Here you go. I'm going to open up No Man's Sky just to show you that it does play. 
And this will work a lot better if you plug in your PS4 controller via USB into the back of your Nvidia Shield TV because that controller is meant for this. Here we go, No Man's Sky, playing it on the NVIDIA Shield TV. It's not perfect, but you can definitely do it, especially if you have an extra TV and you want to play your PS4, and the PS4 is locked up uh, with the TV upstairs or downstairs, but you still want to play your games. There you go, just to show you that it does work. So cool, if you guys have any questions about this at all, leave it down below. So there you go guys, that is the remote play with the PS4. If you have any questions at all, leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe guys, I put new videos out all the time. Thanks for watching, if you'd like to support my Patreon, I will link it in the description down below, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!